Hello, so uh, today we are doing, continuing on this contest, uh, B-Weekly Contest 15. Um, the last problem, which is um, th this hard problem, 1289, minimum falling path sum 2. So the problem says, given a, um, a square grid of integers, um, a falling path with non-zero shift is a choice of exactly one element from each row of array, such that no two elements chosen in adjacent rows are in the same columns. And what we want is at the end to return the minimum sum of falling path with non-zero shift. What essentially this means is that we want to pick any number from the first row, then pick another number from the second row that is not in the same column, and keep doing this for each adjacent row. And the goal is to do this in a way that we get the minimum sum of a path that has this criteria here. And if we look at the, at the example here, um, we can take one and then take five and take nine. You can see these, the, all of them, the adjacent rows, uh, the values that we pick it from adjacent rows are not in the same column. And so um, the smallest one among all of these is this one. That's where we get the minimum sum, which is 13, so we return that. Um, the ranges is that it's a s square grid and the, the rows and columns can be at most 200 each. So, how can we solve this problem? So, one thing you can think of actually when, or the intuition behind the solution for this problem is that, well, um, if you think about the most straightforward way to solve it is, well, let's just find the minimum in the first row, and then add it to the minimum, minimum of the second row, and then add it to the minimum of the third row, and then add it to the minimum of the fourth row, and then keep going just taking the minimum, right? But the problem, the problem with that is what if, what if the min in multiple rows is, um, what if the min, min like in this row is the same in this row, Let's the min in this row is the same on the same column. That's the only case where we have a problem, right? And so, if the means are in the same column, well, what is the solution? Let's just pick the smallest one in this row. The second smallest one, right? And then that way, we will have satisfy the criteria and have the minimum sum, right? And so, that means that our strategy would be get the minimum at the min from the previous row uh, to the min of the current row, right? If, if they are not in the same column, right? And if they are in the same column, then, then that means just add the second smallest from the previous row to the min in this in the current row, right? And do this, th keep doing this of in, in the adjacent for each adjacent rows, right? Um, and that's pretty much the solution. That's pretty much the main idea behind this solution, right? So let's just cut it up. Um, so first, I'm just going to keep track of some variables. No, the length of the row, which is here. Uh, since this is a grid, I don't like it to be named array, so I'm just going to name it M. So here, length of columns is M0. Um, and then we want to, for each row, right, we are going to start from the first row because for the, f for the, uh, for the, f from the second row, because for the first row, which is the one at index 0, um, we can just take them in because there is no, because there is no previous row to check to check against, right? And so here we need to for the row at position one, we need to take the two smallest from the previous row, which is row at position zero. Um, and so we need to get the two smallest uh, from the previous row. So how do we get it? So find the two min values in the previous row. Two smallest uh, values from the previous row. That's what we are going to do here. And so to do that, first let's get the first, the smallest one from the previous row. So let's call it min one, and let's get 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 its index right. So let's call it j one, 
and to get the index there we just take the previous row and find the index for um, and find the index for that smallest value right <coughs> then we want to get the second smallest element and so that's just the min for the previous row except by excluding min1 right except we need to exclude j1 here we need to exclude the element at position j1 so to do that i'm just going to say for jx in i'm going to enumerate the the row but i'm going to consider only take the minimum only for all the elements except the smallest one because i want the second smallest so if g is different of course then the index of the smallest one right so now I have the two smallest values, min1 and min2. So now what I want to do is just go through the current row, which is um, just the g's in the range of column. And I want to do what I said here. If the previous row, smallest of the previous row, is not in the same column, then I just add that, right? And if it is, then I take the second smallest. So to do that, I just add on to the current value. Uh, and since uh, so this way I will keep accumulating in each row and so that way for in this last row I would have the accumulation of the sum and I can just take the smallest of these right and so here I would say uh, plus um, min 2 so well there is one case is if min 1 if the element in the previous row's column, so the same column of the previous row is equal to min1, well that means um, the smallest element in previous row is in the same column, right? So that means I can't use it, right? So that means um, I need to add the other smallest element, otherwise I can add the the smallest element because they are not in the same row right and you can see here I'm adding that means that I will keep adding until in the final row I would have um, I would have the smallest one that I obtain um, through all for all columns and I can just take the minimum of that right and so here at the end I can just take the minimum of the last row and so to do that I can just say um, the minimum of the last row so this will give me the minimum sum because for each column I tried um, in a greedy way to obtain the smallest sum of it and so now my mij will contain the the sum the minimum sum possible of all the rows before it such that we pick that element at that position right um, so yeah so that's pretty much it um, I hope this is all clear but the main idea is this is this thing here is if the if the the two minimums of two adjacent rows are on the same columns column we can't pick both right because there is the constraint that we can take from the same column and so we take the second best choice which is the second smallest but we don't know maybe there was another one another case where we um, we would have taken a different column and find a better way and so we are going to populate all of them and then at the end take the minimum of the last row and that's pretty much it for for this solution Okay, so I will submit. Okay, so that passes. Um, a slightly different way to do this instead of this calculation that we did here for um, the for the two smallest element is Python has heap Q, right? A heap can get you the n the the n smallest element, and so it can get us the two smallest element because if we import heap Q like this, it has this function called n smallest where you could give it n and an iterable and it will find you the n smallest elements 
in the iterable. So here, if we give it two, it will find for us the two smallest element. And so <coughs> here, to obtain <coughs> min one and min two, instead of doing this manually, we could just say min one and min two will be equal that using heap q, we just get the n smallest two elements of um, the previous row. That's what we were calculating here. So minus one, and we can use that instead. And so we will need to import heap q here. And this will do the exact same thing. Okay, so that passes again. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's it uh, actually for this. There is of course a way to solve this problem using um, top-down dynamic programming. Um, it passes in Java but doesn't in Python, so I didn't go over it here. But um, but that one is pretty straightforward. You could just um, you just recurse and you have two choices at each moment where um, for the previous row you, you try sorry uh, at each moment you can you try all the <coughs> all the values in the in the next row except the ones on the same column and you pick the minimum um, yeah but it doesn't it, it gives time limit it ex exceeded in Python so I'm not going to go over it but it's uh, just know that it's possible um, yeah so that's it for this problem um, please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and see you next time bye